<laughs> now that's funny. That shall teach you. I shall break with my neck, you fool. You fool. Wow, now I'm doing Clouseau. My chimpanzee minky. Now let's minky? move on to the actual shows now, shall we? Minky. Let's, let's do shows. Minky. What's a minky? Well, the same as foot stops. <laughs> you know, foot stops. Foot stops. He's the show already. Good Lord, man. <laughs> Okay, there are in, people out there dying, and I in, in lieu much of, like the show was for a second there. In is, lieu of the begathon, we usually do asking you yeah. to like, subscribe, and follow. This is true, really news, and ask your friends to like, subscribe, and follow. This is true, really news. There are two things I got to say. Thank One, you. Liverpool are in the UEFA Champions League semifinals. Congratulations to our man in Liverpool, Patrick Reed. Is that like some sort of Liverpoodles? Some sort of soccer thing? Yeah, it is. And uh, and secondly. We are the we are together. I mean, if you combined our IQs, Jethro Bodine would be our king. No, I think together we could beat him. We're the no. I bet we could darn near get to double digits with Jeth with both of us. Remember last week when I said, "Hey, while we're recording, I got a ton of shows. Let's let's do just a ton of stories. Let's let's get a ton of shows out." Yeah. You know how many shows that ended up being? Six. Five. I was being optimistic. <laughs> we. Um, we can't so, count, Tony, and it's so not we just broke me. even, is what you're saying. But we had a lot. Of, we had enough extra stories to probably do two more shows. Yes, we did. But we had done enough. My <laughs> accountant then said. And the last one, we only had three stories on <laughs> because we forgot to do the fourth. But we had five stories. The two, the four. I See, had we to, go, and dude. We go we with did, the average. <laughs> in one, we had six stories, and I could do nothing <laughs> with that except put it in outtakes. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. <laughs> Maybe we just ask. See, in the old know. days, I'd have felt stupid, but I don't care anymore. I just no, really don't. Do I. I just no. think it's hilarious. This is true, really news with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. <sighs> See, idea. Jethro Bodine. Our yeah. King, Your Highness. Is there a reason you chose those words? Mm -hmm. A recent case report published in the journal Radiology Case Reports, classy title, details the story of a 20-year-old man in Switzerland who managed to land himself in the hospital in the ICU with a torn lung and air inside his chest cavity. Oh, yuck. If That's you have young guy. children listening, you may want to scoot them out the door because you may not want to explain this to them quite yet. Mm. Because I'm about to tell you the reason he was in. Oh, it's one of those. This, this is the, a parental alert. Oh, yeah. Uh, See, we're giving you in, plenty of time. He's in the hospital with a torn lung and air inside his chest cavity. After what I'm guessing must have been a, an amazingly athletic. Um, kinetic. <laughs> Frenetic. Uh, yeah. Masturbation session. Oh, my. Yes, the man had been at home doing what so many young men do. And according to the patient, he'd been lying in bed when he began experiencing symptoms that, let's be honest, would be a massive turnoff for anybody, even yourself. <clears throat> I just don't turn me on anymore. He started having trouble breathing and soon developed sharp pains in the chest. Mm. <laughs> See, if you're our age, you just go, well, I'm dying. <laughs> And in, just lay there waiting for the yeah. sweet release. I want to see if Andrew comes to get me. <laughs> Touched well, by an would, angel. Google it. Would, it would happen for me because I'm Scottish. That I that would. Fortunately, it could be. A, never mind. In case you're one of the few people who've never done this, you're not supposed to end up in the ER, is yeah. what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. From the ER, he was taken to ICU. Seemed fine, but his pain kept increasing. Well, maybe they a... should have <laughs> tied him to the bedposts. <laughs> Don't let him touch himself. What do you think we are in the ICU? What did you think we're what? <laughs> Draconian? I really. The guy does have a history of mild asthma, but it said he was healthy and doesn't use drugs, doesn't smoke, and hadn't been coughing or exercising heavily. Okay. So, well, he'd just been say, exercising. Just say no to cardio. Um, of course, the latter point depends on how, you know, figure about 70 calories for a decent session. This probably burnt 100. Anyway, the doctors didn't notice the man's face was swollen. Additionally, they could hear raspy noise in his throat when he breathed. So they sent him for the CT, and the result was <sighs> profound pneumomediatastinium with subcutaneous emphysema reaching up until the base of the skull. 
What that means really? is the idiot tore his lung. Well, <laughs> as a result, air leaked out from his lungs, got into his chest cavity. This is normally when they do that weird thing with the yep. with the tube and the chest deal. You bet. Yeah. Luckily for him, the condition isn't particularly dangerous. It's just not it comfortable. Usually, no, it's really uncomfortable and usually fixes itself as the body absorbs the air and gets the things where they're supposed to be. Yep. So the man didn't require any real significant medical procedure. They gave him drugs for the pain. Um, because of the pain, though, he was in ICU overnight and in three days on the regular ward. Did they give him the Did they give him a medal or anything? <laughs> did they contact the Guinness people? Did no, but I bet every female nurse that walked by snickered. I'm just, I'm guessing. Or every male nurse that walked by went, wow. I mean, to talk to him before he gets out of here. Uh, this was a this guy was lucky, by the way. Okay. A year ago, the Journal of Stroke and Cerebrovascular Diseases <laughs> published a case about a 51 year old Japanese it's man, just a child. Yeah, <laughs> that they noted was right handed. I don't know mm. why that's important, but they said he had already had fun several times in one day and decided to try it one more time just for you know old time's sake. <laughs> I'll just take one for the road. After finishing the last off, the man came down with what they report, what he report called thunderclap headaches and furious vomiting. That's enough to put you off for the so afternoon. Like, so like the Swiss guy, the Japanese guy goes to the, goes to the hospital CT scan. He had suffered a stroke while oh. stroking. <laughs> uh, I just don't know where to go with that. <laughs> Spent two weeks in the hospital. The end. He went back home with fur without further complications. Scott. Thank you. From uh, Not the Bee, a palate cleanser. Oh, good. Now, if you're familiar with the Babylon Bee, it's a satire website. Uh, hey, can run I ask by a question? Some, yeah. How come the Babylon Bee, what did the Babylon Bee post that got him kicked off Twitter? Um, Satire. Because they won't unpublish it, and Twitter's very pissy about it. Well, and Twitter's I think that was the idiots. and I think that was the is the driving force behind Elon Musk. It, it, it is it is it's insane. The B is a satire site. Everybody knows the Babylon B is a satire site. It's and a Christian it, satire site, which makes it interesting for just being there. Yep. Um, but they have a section called "Not the B." Yes, and "Not the B" is true stories. Yep. Okay, because because the B is all made up crap, and everybody well, knows it except the folks at Twitter. It starts with something jerks. real and becomes made up. Yeah, that's what yeah, satire that's is. True. Yeah. Anyway, from from not the B, you can go find this yourself and read it over at not the B. Uh, this dude just made the most glaringly satirical post in history, and the New York Times contacted him because they thought it was real. Elon Musk should buy the New York Times. Maybe he could make that into a newspaper again. <sighs> I boarded a plane today with my son, and mid-flight, the pilot announces that the mask mandate is over. Flight attendants pulled off their masks and sneezed directly into their hands while screaming, This is MAGA airspace! My son turned to me in tears. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, just have a meltdown, son. <laughs> Stewardess, do you have a crying space? <laughs> Hi, Jared. I'm New York Times journalist. I'd love to speak with you over the phone about what happened on your flight this evening. Can you please give me a call at leaves your phone number or let me know how I can reach you. Hope this isn't coming too late in your day. Thank you. Looking forward to hearing from you. Hello, Victoria. Oh boy. I would love to discuss the incident at your earliest convenience. I was pretty upset about the whole thing. Unfortunately, it's satire that only someone at the New York times would believe. In my time of contemplation, I was wondering how your team deals with the multitude of false stories that you peddle out daily to use as political propaganda, and if you could give me advice on how to make take my satire to the next level. Best wishes. B1 <laughs> times zero. <laughs> Tone? Uh, no, I, can we just stop right there? That was no, just such a... No, oh. we got two more stories to go, and we're not going to do what we did last time. Fine. Such a stickler for the rules. <laughs> I want four. This has absolutely nothing to do with my first story. Looking to add some intensity to your workout routine? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Roman Saradian's latest Guinness World Record is an excellent pull-up technique. 
All you need is to be able to do pull-ups. You need a minute and a helicopter. Yep. I'm thinking he watched way too many Arnold Schwarzenegger films. Oh, no. As reported by India Today, Saradayan posted a video that went viral. In it, the Armenian performed 23 pull-ups in one minute, all by hanging from the grounding, from the grounding, from the landing skid of a helicopter floating several feet above the ground. So if you took that puppy over like the Grand Canyon, would that be a bigger world record? Just from? Likely. Or just stupider. Hang him over the Mariana's Trench. Yes, the achievement earned him an official Guinness World Record for the most pull-ups from a helicopter in one minute. Why? Why is that a thing? Why can it be a thing? I think I should have like the least pull-ups ever considered. Because <laughs> nobody's considered fewer pull-ups than I have. <laughs> Ask me how many I've considered. How many have you considered? With the work I put in, a minus six, I think. <laughs> and I can concur. I've been there for some of those. The Instagram video posted. Exactly. The Instagram video posted by Guinness has tallied more than 125,000 views. That's got to be from people late at night who get sucked into the vortex. Got to yeah. be. Because I who else? Hey, darling, you want to yeah. see something cool? A guy's doing pull-ups on a helicopter. From from about three feet off the ground, big deal. Yeah. One commentator gave a shout out to the unsung hero of the video. The real the record today pilot. is for the pilot for not crashing that helicopter on mm. purpose. Now I, I added the unpurpose, <laughs> <laughs> setting it down on the man and telling him to stop it right there in the front row. Headlines: uh, Corduroy pillow, blah blah blah. Dallas police say man beat roommate with a stick during an argument over what a mosquito looks like. Huh? Yeah. The prosecution is going to be moved to Florida for obvious reasons. <laughs> Florida man arrested for directing. Can't get a fair trial in Florida, Alabama, <laughs> Minnesota, North Dakota, South. There are about four states we can get a fair trial in. <laughs> Florida man arrested for directing traffic while also urinating. And you go this way and you go this way. <laughs> Oh, why do I have a picture of Peter Sellers in my head? I don't know. I... <laughs> that makes no sense. No. Florida man once bitten by alligator is chomped by eight foot shark while on vacation. <sighs> so what? He's got how many predators to go yet? He's getting oh, close yeah. there. Yeah, it could go after. Maybe get a giant snapping turtle to take a chunk out of him. Oh, we'll right hurt. They're huge, too. Yeah, because these two don't. <laughs> Well, you, oh. Florida woman Megan Mariah Barnes causes two vehicle crash while shaving her bikini line. That do it. Florida man walks into strangers home. Removes Got a clothes, bunch they were both guys. Starts shouting five, six, seven, eight. Grandma, grandma. <laughs> and finally. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after SWAT offers him pizza. <laughs> See, SWAT should have threatened him with Nickelback and it would have been over. <laughs> this is true, really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.